What's up guys? Welcome back to the YouTube channel and I hope you enjoy the video. Wait, wait, wait. Huh? You, you have to explain the premise. I need to. The, the premise of the video? Why? So the audience knows what's going on? Cause see. I, yeah, you, you should go. Yeah. Just read the title, you no! fuck. Perfect. Guys, <laughs> this video is gonna cost me 50 bucks. Woo! Please subscribe. <laughs> I'll Holy go first. Fuck. That way, uh, <laughs> that way I can break the ice of how bad they've got to be. Okay. okay. Wow. My presentation Impressive. was my friends the supervillains. The the lineups I chose: we got Trickster, Scott, Ferret, uh, Sky Ferret, Garrett, PT, Munch, and Ampo. What we need the to learn. The stream is still running. Matt, the stream is not working. Fuck. Wait, shit, wow, crazy. he's organized. He actually has like he actually has headers. Shut up! Everybody, shut up before okay. Matt stops the stream. <laughs> I'm having a he's, mild I like panic how... attack. I'm sweating. Did Everybody, we, calm down. Can we appreciate how he started sharing his screen but the bunk bed still exists? <laughs> All right. right. <laughs> so, <laughs> my friends, the super villains. There we go. Their tragic backstories. The villain names and their powers. This is how you guys can become the villains you're meant to be. Starting off with Trickster. After a long day of work, Trickster went to a bar. After a couple of drinks, Trickster went for a piss. Unknowing to him, his girlfriend accidentally dropped his, her iPod Nano into his pint. He drank the pint for a bet and then gained his powers. Trickster became Agent Naughty Prince. <laughs> His powers! The force is a song to be stuck in your head for all of eternity. Threat level, right. 5 out of 10. Uh, it's <laughs> the guide. The brows. <laughs> this is my artist representation of what Trickster's villain would look like. Dr. Eggman better look out, bro. <laughs> Scott. Entering an abandoned Goodwill, Scott came across a pair of cargo pants with several pockets. Without thinking, Scott stuffed them into one of his existing pockets and left the store. He discovered that the pockets of these po uh, pants not only had things in them, but had pocket dimensions in them. That's actually dope, though. <laughs> Scott became Scott the Pants Johnson. <laughs> the pants' as pants can hold an infinite amount of gear. Auto stretch presentation. <laughs> no. Oh my god. <laughs> Ferret. He has a Spun child soldier <laughs> army. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, we, ha we do that, Ferret. man. <laughs> Ferret drank whoa, some whoa, hot whoa. apple sauce that entered his sweat streams in his body. How did you get that picture? <laughs> Where did you find <laughs> that? This is Ferret. What the Ferret fuck is then a became sweat stream? Apple sauce hand man. <laughs> apple sauce hand man endlessly secretes apple sauce from his entire body, calling him to be sweet and warm. Mm. Ferret Aww. was so pissed off by that traditional Japanese place that he filled the entire place with apple sauce. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Garrett! <laughs> SoundCloud. <laughs> Dumb tip. <laughs> Garrett! <laughs> Garrett is already I'm in a base level threat. <laughs> PT! Okay, <laughs> that's it. Did we just go on? We just got nothing we know about him. <laughs> Perfectly techno. <laughs> After a clumsy be. mishap, PT was ran over by the military 27 times while carrying a barrel of oil. PT became He's Uncle Fox. <laughs> he vomits <laughs> oil. That's fantastic. He vomits oil. fucking oil. <laughs> and oh. I see and, still in it. And both suffered major head injuries after wrestling with a stuffed animal. Okay. The quiet assassin. Oh god. He will fucking kill you. <laughs> <laughs> god, nice. it's the like... fact that Matt made him the quiet assassin and gave him the loudest weapon you could think of. <laughs> hey, that's me. He's from the future. The future where raccoons experiment on humans. Which is why he became Captain Thunder Raccoon. Oh my god. The first ever <laughs> were raccoon. <laughs> If he doesn't take his meds, he goes on a rampage. I do like that. Things that oh set him off. Oh my god. He needs the color orange. Dude, my persona like is badass. Chest in that Not picture. there. <laughs> Dude, y'all jealous of my persona. <laughs> wow, what a squad. Uh, what, what a fucking squad. squad. This I Sinister Seven. Well done, well done. I am well so well fucking done. scary. Everybody got a superpower and I got cancer. Oh, I was the only one who got a threat level. 
<laughs> You're the, the one that needs one, man. It on the scale of the threat. I'm like an SCP that you know nothing about. I just got a gun. <laughs> so, my presentation uh, is... You know what? Can somebody check Ampo's stream to make sure that they can see as well? Uh, it should be working. Uh, I see Ampo's face. Shit. It's a lot of buttons to worry about at once. Okay. So, okay, we're good. I can Top 10 Pokemon ranked from the least to most kissable. I what? Huh? Uh, <laughs> yeah. Um this is, isn't exactly the most in-depth, most um knowledgeable presentation, but I feel like it it pertains most to today's society. So, Ooh. pretty much long story short, um uh shit. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> fuck. Um <laughs> fuck. Uh next. Oh, okay, no. No, here uh so so actually um if you like, if you really think about it, the the most important, um, sh oh, fuck, oh, shit, <laughs> fuck, um, act, so, oh, okay, that's, um, hold on, hold on, okay, no, 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 okay, now we're good, so, basically, <laughs> when you're, when you're content, like, it's been a rough couple of years, guys, so I just I need, break. I just, fuck, god, this. um, so, so, is there, is there any more, is, okay, okay, um, this is, I, so, so basically, Top 10 profound works of literature that truly kind of shaped my way of life, I think is, is, uh, you get the joke at this point. How the I fuck mean, did you say it's fucking, yes, I, you know, I, so, so like, why, why did they design in like this? I, like, while we're here, I just, like, why would they, why, 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 why would they make my man like this? Mm -hmm. That dag one. Why, uh, oh, I don't like that one. Uh, okay, so hi, welcome to my TED talk. Um, why, why is the Chinese color, why is it so gross? Why, it looked like piss? Um, but like, does, does gross why color, does, does look as if made of piss? I don't get it, I really don't, but I've done some thought. That's the end of that one, by the way. Um, Probo Pass. He is Probo, Probo Pass. Um, Probo Pass. So... Nintendo. Oh! Oh, wait. I found... Okay, no, I, f I found my presentation. These were not my presentations. I found mine. Oh, um, okay. Okay, so, here we go. Um, so, top 10 noses in game. I I think you know where this is going. Um, psych, it's Mario, bitch! Look at that nice. Um number two is Max nice Rebo. Um He's the guy from Star Wars. I would like to point out that I am not on this list. So Yandere Dev is on this list too. And if you find any kind of parallels between the last slide and this slide, fuck you. When and where, baby? Next is Minecraft Villager. It's like Squidward. Oh, well, that is a cursed, cursed fucking image. <laughs> why? Out of all the ones you could Why is it so floppy? Don't be mad, uh, it's the facts! Okay? Ew. Next is Ratatouille. We're not gonna move past that. Uh, five is Squidward. It's like Villager. <laughs> um, they're very similar. Um, how many more of these do I fucking have? Oh my god. I don't know. <laughs> yourself on your slide. Oh, Birdie? Yeah, he's pretty cool. Oh, I'm about that. Uh, yeah, cool. I just feel like- I feel like that her- it, <laughs> Moving on. Oh, uh, actually, um, Matt a girl. number two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was what- Didn't PT, stutter. Yeah, so basically, sleep, in conclusion- an Anpo, PT. <laughs> Why'd you make it- you made it to three, and then now we're here? <laughs> yeah, I, I gave up. So in conclusion, <laughs> It's cool to have a big nose, and this is totally not my way of coping or anything else like that. No way, not uh And uh, number one is uh, nose pass. <laughs> Just kidding, it's Probo Pass! Get Probo Punk! I don't care that I spoiled it before. <laughs> Fuck you! Probo Punk! Anyways, this is my friend's Robot Revolution survival chances. Ah. Uh, the criteria. Can this person adapt well? Do they have any survival skills? Are they lucky? Do they have plot armor? How much of a main character is this person? <laughs> and how many robots are in their house? You get a higher score for having less robots in your house. Okay, as our baseline, we will have it me, PT. <laughs> <laughs> I was oh drinking! I was Dude. drinking! <laughs> you did and, that to yourself? And Dude, that's hot. <laughs> that's hot. And Poe just covered himself. Dude, that's it's hot. all over the monitor. 
<laughs> Adaptability, 9 out of 10. I learned to live like a human raccoon while working for Big Brother. Uh, my plot armor is I am at best like an Obi-Wan style mentor for someone else, and I will die tragically. <laughs> so I got a 1 out of 10. And then my tech use okay. is an 8 out of 10. I did pretty good on that because I keep a loaded handgun next to my PC in case it beeps funny. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh... I am deceased. I have died in this robot apocalypse. <laughs> uh, next we have Matlor. <laughs> <laughs> Previous experience is a 1 out of 10. From what he told me, he almost beat Horizon Zero Dawn. <laughs> almost. Oh, almost. almost. <laughs> uh, plot armor, he Happens. got a 3 out of 10, because while Matt does have some plot armor, it's mostly quirky sidekick plot armor, so he's fucked. <laughs> Mm. And uh, tech use, well, he got a 0 out of 10 because this man's whole life is tech, all of it. <laughs> uh, so obviously, this is a pretty good score. And what does that bring us to? Uh, Matlor is uh, deceased, dead. <laughs> Next, we have Flamtastic. Adaptability is a 9 out of 10 because, let's be honest, the apocalypse cannot be worse than Michigan. Uh, previous experience, <laughs> for luck, we're going to do a 2 out of 10 because I don't actually know how lucky Flam is, but, like, can't be that high. Uh, and Flam is deceased. <laughs> You it yeah, up. Next, we, next we have Gordba. Uh, looks like Logan Paul doesn't know what to do with his hands. Deceased. <laughs> Deceased. <laughs> no <sense. laughs> uh, we have ferret gen we have ferret gentlemen. Mm -hmm. uh, adaptability two out of ten. The man's named himself after a creature that would have been extinct if not for vaccine filled M and M's. Uh, uh, ah. Luck is a nine out of ten. Dude can ask Santa for whatever he wants, knows him biblically, as you can see in the lower <laughs> picture. Fuck. Whoa. He's dead. Uh, adaptability is a 4 out of 10. I had it at a 7, and Sky looked at it and said I'd bump that down to a 4, so that's what <laughs> uh, For plot armor, Sky got a 9 out of 10. If you've ever met Sky, you inherently want to keep her alive, which means many people. There's going to be a lot of people who just die horribly in her stead. Big brain. She died. Uh, next, we have Minoru Plays. Uh, adaptability is a 3 out of 10. He doesn't have the height necessary to properly adapt to angry robots, but he is still taller than Ferret. Uh, uh, his plot armor is a 7 out of 10 because his profile has white hair and cat ears, which is your standard anime protagonist loadout. Uh, he also died. Okay. Uh, Barlow, PNG. Uh, adaptability is 9 out of 10. Seriously, I have no idea how the apocalypse beats Michigan. <laughs> and tech use is a question mark out of 10 because I have no fucking idea. I just wanted to shit on Michigan twice in one presentation. <laughs> uh, which brings us to... Uh, Barlow died, and that brings us to our next si slide. Fuck you, Michigan. <laughs> uh, <deceased>. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody uh -oh. new challenger approaches. Oh. Uh, Santa Claus. Oh. Oh, no. oh. Santa! Santa! Oh, oh, oh. Santa! Previous experience, Santa Claus lived through every apocalypse so far. R.I.P. Dinosaurs. Uh, for, uh, Lord Armor, he got a 9 out of 10 because he's defended by every child on the planet and his parents don't want to make an But we did take away a point because I'm pretty sure this hey. is a ferret in a hat. This Santa Claus picture got my back arching. Anyways, guys, all hail our robot overlords or the aliens if they show up first. Thank you for your time. True. Fair <laughs> enough. Fair enough. Yep. Dude, my pants Got are to. so big. Yo, those huge I chose pants. a bit of an interesting topic. They're corduroy the too, bro. Ooh. I'm, looking, I'm stunned on these hoes. Got cat um, cat. my presentation is on the day in the life of being a dream stan. Oh God, <laughs> tragic. By uh, by me, a dream stan. <laughs> Before I want to get into the day in the life that I have day to day, I want to talk about why I relate to dreams so much. <laughs> I also wear a mask sometimes mm -hmm. for hours at a time. <laughs> so sad. Yeah, I'm yeah. in love with my mask. Dude. I like oh. to pretend it's dream. Biblical. <laughs> Fuck you, I found dream was mine. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> but his lyrics just speak to me. You know. <laughs> oh. when, I'm in my when I'm in my room crying because I do that every night. Oh, I listen. Oh, I listen to Dream's music, and I it, it just reminds me of how much I want to give Dream. Sloppy. Okay, let's. <laughs> when people ask me how I'm doing as a dream stan, I I say I can't. 
I'm doing just fine. <laughs> just fine. Just, just fine. fine. Uh huh. But you're lying. What? With it. What, is, what? I can never get off my mattress. Oh my god. No. No. Just as Dream would say in his hit song Mask. <laughs> hey, what is this? When people ask me why I'm so sp sad, I uh, don't respond with, you know, taxes. <laughs> My life is kind of hard sometimes. Or uh, I'm emotionally distraught and was never told how to fully express my emotions, so I build it up until I eventually can't hide it anymore. Those are the things I don't say. Okay, yeah. Instead I say, that's what the oh. mask is. <laughs> the mask is... Oh, oh god! What? Oh, what? What? Oh, what? What's happening? Oh, oh god! I don't know what that was. Um, and now for my day-to-day -day routine. But loud. I wake up to mask, but loud. I wear a mask with a smile. Somebody had to put the effort in to code in that dream poppy pillow into a video game. And you wouldn't? No, actually I photoshopped that. Oh wow. That doesn't exist. <laughs> oh really? <laughs> no. If I reported this for a DMCA violation, I could get the picture of me in the maid dress and cat ears taken off the internet. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm, already, I'm but I'm recording. So uh, I'm same over, actually. <laughs>
Bam. I'll kill you. All right. <laughs> Muted. All right. Um, we, we, you need to understand this when moving on. Next. Oh my God. The Wobble Stone Wall. As you can tell by Wobble is a pun off the word uh, Wobble. Cobblestone. Wobble. Go yeah, oh, dude. See, you guys are getting it. The shitty it. Cobblestone Wall. You touch it, it falls over. It takes up way too much room and is mid at best. Honestly, honestly, just forget about it. You can't even make it grassy. On to the next one. Roof bricking. It's oh. when you are bricked up so hard that it shelters people. Okay, but this <laughs> one is not and that is not allowed it makes a vertical wall from just standing it up right yeah yeah but this one's standing on the ground oh. yeah yeah and you're not allowed to stand it on the ground uh 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 uh, uh the l uh lbca the lego bureau of bureau. um um confiscation and allegations of legos uh um, lbcal of of actually the a a b c uh, lbcal Please make sure you write that down. It will be on the test at the end. Just there will solid be a test improv. Out. Um, <laughs> next one. On to the illegal, um, or well, Whoa. the lady killer, as it said. What? Um, oh, one cool. break oh, and it's shit. the end of your life. Cool. Um, uh, four by feet, uh, the four piece, one stud angled. I did look oh. that up and had to research it to figure out what this stupid piece was <laughs> called. Damn. Um, to stack it up with the studs and to be able to man. create a column. Um, on to number four, guys. Oh. We're getting into the top four. Okay, you need to, you need to, you need to wise up here. Okay, um, this one's called the lazy wall. Uh, this is what you do when you're just too lazy to fucking uh, make a wall. And honestly, dude, just fucking, just, just build it. It takes up the same amount of pieces. Just keep a normal brick wall. Okay, keep it classy. <laughs> keep it classy, guys. Come Don't on. you have a question? Uh, uh, it's real quick. It's about the illegal build techniques. Uh, normally we don't take questions, but um, for you, <laughs> I'll make another uh, question. Thank you. If I don't do the lazy wall, how am I gonna do my illegal cobblestone on top of it? <laughs> Bro, that's double illegal. Holy shit! And then with oh, the, the legal roof. Oh, he's getting on real big. That's you a double a offense. Fucking, you think this is a fucking joke? <laughs> Two charges. The no, LBCAL, the LBCAL, the A L B C A L will put out a serious offense on your fucking account. I know where you live. I will oh find you. And your I Lego will... account's Shit. gone, bro. <laughs> I will I will take oh. away. Hey, hey, control. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, I'm the I'm the guy. I'm the guy. <laughs> this is called the insertion technique. Ooh. It's when you put a small thing into two holes and voila, you get a new brick delay. Need I say more? Illegal, the ball. As I said, as I said, <laughs> mm -hmm. here, Legos are square. <laughs> and as you can see here, <laughs> this is not square. This is a circle. A smooth ball does nothing for Legos. It defies <laughs> God in the, uh, the, the laws of nature. On to the last one and the final one. And honestly, honestly, I need to prepare y'all. Cause this one is vile. I'm scared. It is foul. And honestly, I don't even want my face yeah, associated I'm with to take it. Notes. Uh, gentlemen, oh, oh. gentlemen. You didn't. The last one. You came in. Raspberry hair. No. Foul. No. <laughs> honestly, it's foul. It's foul. fucking foul. It looks terrible. Foul. <laughs> Just throw up on him. He's. Is it organic? <laughs> He's organic every two two weeks out of the. It, I mean, like it, it's yearly. It happens. Like I mean, when it's cheaper and ripe and in season. I mean, yeah, he does try to go for organic. I mean, even though it doesn't really matter because like when you do get organic fields, yeah. it's the same thing. But like when you talk to him about it, it's a whole story. And like yes, if you really want to sit there for like four hours to talk about it, I mean, I mean, like you can. But yeah, like I really enough. just walk past him in this the grocery is... store, and I don't really try to go into it because like I got shit to do, and I'm not trying to talk to. This. <laughs> All right, let's down. go. Let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my scanguild.codre investor meeting. I'm going <laughs> to list off a few inventions that I've come up with within my company, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to let you guys decide at the end, at the end, whether you want to invest in them or not. <laughs> uh, so let's go with my first case study here. Uh, tripping. We all hate it. We all we all despise <laughs> it. We all do it because gravity's a bitch, you know? One of the biggest. Uh, instead of falling in the shower, what if I was like wearing something weighted on my feet that could keep me from falling? I came up with the heavy shoes. 20 <laughs> pounds each shoe. Yo. Uh, there are some issues with that. Uh, swimming could be an issue. And if your bones are too weak for the shoe, they could snap <laughs> while using them. But anyways, uh, second case study, cereal on the go. We all hate when you wake up and you can't eat cereal and you're like, you're rushing out the door and you have to like, 
chug a can of milk and like some it's basically a spiral that pushes cereal oh. and milk up into your mouth it's incredible oh. as someone who's anyway. known scott for about four or five years now i know that he's been trying to actually build this and, four or five years and that's not a joke he used to do this in high school. <laughs> it could be yours. Uh, some issues. Hair can get I'm stuck in. in the motor. Uh, obviously, <laughs> soy drinkers. We, we don't want to attribute them with this product because uh, it could it could cause weak bones. Um, third issue: self defense that looks fashionable because <laughs> you, you know. You, you get those chads who wear like the the the, the open gun or the open knife on their pocket. <laughs> looks like complete lunatics and they're like yes this would make <laughs> all of it gun. disappear frankly yes, i have gun uh the input activated <laughs> knife hat and you might be wondering uh where this came from uh, i came from this one bully i used to know in middle school called daniel cobbs oh <laughs> what? Oh you actually Lord. doxed him you actually <laughs> just doxed his ass <laughs> yeah what state does he live in what's his zip code <laughs> what's his area code i'm still working on the details <laughs> and he said, "Ooh, the tricycle's off balance." And he 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 he, he acted Thanks like much. he, he couldn't, you <laughs> know, up, drive it, and he chucked it into a ravine. And I never <laughs> forgot that. And that kind of started oh my my, uh, my progress into creating these devices. <laughs> uh, but basically, some accidental <laughs> fires might happen. Bro, you put, you put a picture me. of it with his name above it. <laughs> 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 we, we don't know if that's Daniel Cobbs. I'm just <laughs> Doxing this guy. <laughs> what did he ever do to you? I <laughs> can't you, but... uh, I hate friction. I'm I'm completely <laughs> against friction. Dog? Uh, and I think we can all agree. Uh, so my next invention, very near to dear to me, it's the okay. butter sock. Oh it, yes, <laughs> it's a good Let's snack. Go. Let's it's fucking go. Right. And it's easy to produce. If you guys invest in me, I know how to manufacture this. Cheap. <laughs> I would I would pay someone good money to walk around with butter in their fucking socks all day. <laughs> Are they compatible with the heavy shoes? You better fucking believe they're Backwards compatible. compatibility, <laughs> hell yeah. Uh, next case study, accurate GPS. You guys ever go down a road and you're like, I don't know where I am. Google <laughs> yeah, Maps. all no the time. Story this life. would be able to tell where anybody is at any time and... We could use oh. it to find Daniel Cobb. Yes! <laughs> I've been working on trying to find him. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, no. there's actually oh my, oh, god. Oh, god. Oh, god. oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! He doesn't need it! It doesn't matter. Full screen! <laughs> Anyways, if I find the location of Daniel Cobbs, I'm going to acquire uh... wire cutters. And then I'm going to cut his brake lines. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome, guys. Complete great prank. And I'm going to send his car accidentally <laughs> staple off a cliff. It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> oh, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> Hey, um, I don't, I don't, okay, so I don't think, I don't think he's a, he's a real person. I don't think Daniel Cobbs is a real person. I, I'm pretty sure he's not a, I don't think he's a real person. Um, just to, like, make that clear, there's no, there's not gonna be any crime. FBI, open up! No, I'd like to, I'd like to invest in heavy shoes. I'd like to invest in it, as long That's as I know it's funding a good cause. Hey, hey. If your ankles are weak, we'll be there for your bleakest moments. We'll break them. The butter sock was a sin. <laughs> hey, humanity started with a single sin, okay? Oh, oh, oh there it is. Oh, oh, oh. oh my god. Oh. I don't like this one. Hold on, give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second. I think it adds the ambiance, honestly. This is an my awesome My friends story. as the worst. <laughs> so, this is my friends as the worst. And you're not allowed to defend yourself. This is the criteria. Uh, is it bad? It's not criteria. Uh, all of them are horrifyingly bad. Uh, they all, but they all, all of them consider fun facts into the mix. Fun facts. Um, yeah, it says Squid Games at the bottom. Uh, <laughs> it says Squid <laughs> Games at the bottom. <laughs> that makes me feel like a hallway full of piss. <laughs> Up to my fucking chest and piss. <laughs> Up to my fucking neck and piss. When I he hear the word Matthew Maddock, 
I think large quantities of unidentified liquid in a building. Relatable. You know what I'm talking about, baby? Fun fact Perfect. about Matt. Matthew in Polish translates to <laughs> room of soup. <laughs> uh, Wait, please tell me that's true. Please. No, it does please. not. God damn it. <laughs> if this post gets 10 likes, I'll splash around a little. I'll splash around like a little freaking goblin boy. Anyways, pure Pertic Miflekno <laughs> is someone that is best avoided unless yelling? shit really needs to get done. Why am I so what? He's a carpeted bathroom. You know, it's like he's the type of person that you would be like, you'd see it, like you you'd go on your house tour, you'd be going about your business, and you'd be like, why the fuck is that a carpeted bathroom? And then you'd move in, and you'd be like, shit, I gotta fucking poop, man. And you're like, well, fuck, I guess this is the only option. That's the type of person PT is. He's your only option when you fucking it's an emergency. <laughs> How do you get out of the bath? Fun fact about PP. <laughs> so, I'm just uh, yeah. So PT wipes his ass from side to side. Yeah. No, that's bullshit. Oh. I told you I don't wipe it all. Down. You're not supposed to talk without your lawyer here. PT anyway. actually stands for perpendicular tissue. Ferret is the most <laughs> banana hallway I've ever met in my life. As fuck. He's the type of person that you talk to for like a half an hour and you're like, what the fuck was that? That's a banana <laughs> hallway. That's why I think Barrett's been in hallway. <laughs> Fun fact, no, Barrett is actually allergic to any iPhone that is above the 4S. <laughs> Every time anybody says, hey Siri, my balls hurt real bad. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I, I have an old iPod, that's as far as I went. Yeah, that's <laughs> like your EpiPen now, right? <laughs> that's his EpiPen! Anyways, back to the next one that I don't remember who it is. Sky. <laughs> <laughs> Sky gives me man fighting bull in old folks home vibe. <laughs> because Same. that's like a that's like a crazy creative situation to be in. And she's a creative person. I think there would be a lot of lives lost at the old folks home. Is is the bull okay? No. Fuck. Sky was recently diagnosed with photosynthesis. <laughs> um she grows she's grown six inches oh. in two hours. Yo, I'm gonna make a song. Scott is this guy. <laughs> I love that guy. God is this, this guy. I have that guy. Yo, because he's mortal. He's such a... <laughs> awesome. It's because you're mortal. Yeah, he's that guy. He's a yeah, cool. guy. It's that guy. I think if you were exploring an abandoned building, you found this man, you could easily best him in hand-to-hand -hand combat. He half never wielded blade. Fun fact about Scott. Last time I hung out with Scott, he started levitating <laughs> and humming er unearthly tones. <laughs> He scared all the girls at my party away. Munch is MySpace crack den. Mm. <laughs> because he played the video games and exists in agony. Yeah, but look at that <laughs> smile. Fun fact about Munch is he got both of his COVID booster shots in his eyes against his will. Okay, I didn't read the contract. Why you gotta call me out? <laughs> Augie. Yeah, but you that, guys know that Augie. Starts... <laughs> if, if I saw him across the room, I'd be like, yeah, that guy, very, that guy bathes in dairy. Uh, Augie's death is set to happen on October 12, 2028. <laughs> I am founder and CEO of fucking Ferret's mom. Uh, lives here in the back rooms. Uh, and she broke that chair. I feel like she got angry and she broke that chair. She threw it against the wall. Fun fact, Flame had sex with Ferret's mom in that chair. That's why it's broken, so I was wrong about how that <laughs> No, Ferret's <laughs> left. There Here's some good? special, some special, uh... <laughs> Just a hallway in the stronghold. <laughs> yes, that's what I think of you. <laughs> I think Lukey is fighting for his life every day of every hour. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh my god! Oh god, it's, it's Santa. A, it's a fun thing. Hey, Santa. Hey, Santa. <laughs> so, so I only had three hours to put this here. together, so I kind of ran out of people, so that's why all three of these are on these slides. But I decided <laughs> to throw in some, some bonus content. So this is chaos. <laughs> He's fucking ripped to shit. Bro, bro got the Lego cut. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's Ferret on an off day. Um, so... <laughs> that's me without my pre-workout. <laughs> <laughs> and this is Harmony. <gasps> oh my lord. Don't worry about it. It's <laughs> a toilet. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, wait. Scott, congratulations on winning the presentation! Yay! Congrats! Congrats. Congrats.
guys are like, I would have cried if it was. I've had this shit up in my room for two days. Respect. Respect. Falling down. <laughs>